Hey guys, welcome back to Scott Rods. So after much deliberation and a lot of advice from you guys, I have made a decision on which fuel tank I am going to install. The winner is the aluminum tank. Now before I get started on the install, I do want to say thanks to all the comments, overwhelming amount of comments on this one, shows how little I know, but I uh, really appreciate it. And one of the most important comments was from RW Ruther, check out his site, who basically said, do it the hardest way first and then you don't, you won't have to repair the inferior way afterwards. It, it's so true. I'm always looking for the easy, easy solution, but I end up spending three times the amount of time and money to repair it if I do it cheap and easy. So with that said, let me show you how this is all going to go down. My two options for installation were in the trunk, which would require all sorts of venting and it would take up space in the trunk. The other option was to install it under the frame, which makes far more sense, easy to vent. The only downside is it might hang a bit low, but looking at it now, it's about six inches. It's going to be about about there, which is still about four inches higher than the, the rear axle, the bottom of the struts. So I don't even think I need to remove this because I thought I was going to have to remove this beam, move it back there and slot the tank in the middle and then cut a recess in the floor. But I don't think I'll have to. If I do, fair enough, I have to. As is, as as I've been told, don't do it. Don't try and skimp out. You know, don't do it the easy way. I'll regret it after. So I'll show you what I need to do for the tank. The first thing I want to do is make a steel cradle for it. Quite a simple cradle that the, the tank will sit in using one inch angle iron around the base and angle iron up each corner. So this whole section will be a welded solid block but I do want to be able to remove the tank at some point so if I use more angle iron at the top from there to there and there to there but uh, attach it with bolts rather than weld it so that I can lift it and bring it out at some point if I have to. So after that I would need to work out how I'm going to attach this unit to the back of the, the frame. So I'll cut, I won't cut these too short, I'll leave them quite long at this point and then I'll slide it under the car and see if I have to adjust the frame or if I can just bolt this straight onto the existing frame cross members. So let's go on with building a little cradle. Right, that's my, that's my cradle base done. 
I will probably buy a roll of that kind of stick on rubber to go all the way around there just to cushion it a little bit. So that will sit in there. Yeah, I've left a little bit of slack in case I want to put rubber on the sides as well as the base. So I will take this over to underneath the, the car and then I can work out if I've got the height without chopping stuff off the, the frame or or if it will be okay that way and then I can work out where the vertical bars are going to go. Follow me. Right, there's no, there's no getting around it. Sorry for the winds, but uh, that has to go. I mean, I could mount the tank underneath it, but then I've got the problem of the pipes sticking up and then they obviously have to curve round somewhat so I need I need about that height above so it's going to set too low if I don't remove this but that's okay I don't need to relocate this actually there's there's no point I mean it's just it's not even like boxed you know it's just bent so I may as well use this one and a half inch steel tube that I've got and that will get mounted in a bit there and then obviously in inside there actually not a bad fit as it is so I will cut that to size weld that in place I'll remove this part completely and then that will let the, the tank sit a bit higher as well so it's all good so I don't need to worry too much about preserving this beam and removing all these massive rivet things I'll just I'll just chop it there and chop it there back in a minute or 20 I was just about to weld in my rear cross member. We have a bit of a thunderstorm passing through. Well, at least I hope it's passing through, otherwise I'm done for the day. Oh dear. Fingers crossed this stops in about, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes. We'll see. While it's raining, why don't we have a look at the map of global domination? If you're new to this channel, this is what I do. If you subscribe, leave a comment with your location and I'll stick a pin in it for you. So at the moment, uh, the USA is, is winning this one. Quite a few in Canada land, but mostly the USA. We have nothing in South America. We've got a few in the UK. I like this little blue guy here, that is Shap near Kendall in uh, Scotland. Actually, is it Scotland or is it England? Not sure. There's a fuzzy border there. Nothing in Ireland. One in uh, Holland, Netherlands, or Never Neverland, as Joey would say. London, Plymouth. What else we got? We've only got one in Africa. The whole of Africa, we've only got one down in Johannesburg. Nothing really going on in Asia. And we have two in Australia, two in New Zealand, must be neighbours, that's pretty far away. So I've got one more to put in at the moment and that is, uh, is it Mike Cook? Anyway, he's in St. Louis, Missouri, which is right there. Oh, I've missed you. Wait a minute, let's go up a wee bit. There we go. So that's it. So if you want to be included in this map, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know where you are. 
Right, let's see if they're in stock. I suppose while I'm waiting, I could actually plan out how I'm going to create the cage for this fuel tank. But first, I need a refreshment. Let's see if my chilli ball is working. Ooh, it feels chilli. Let's see if it tastes chilli. Refreshing. Okay, on to on to this. So the plan. I was hoping to do this part over there because I need to create the corners and I don't know how high to cut the metal and I don't want to waste metal. Scottish remember, I don't want to waste resources. Uh, but I can, I, I can try and plan out how I'm going to attach it to the frame because I do want to make it removable. I, I don't want to weld this frame, sorry. I don't want to weld this cradle to the frame of the car because the body is going to sit over the top and I won't have access to anything unless I can make it removable. So that's what I need to figure out. Rain's gone off so I can get on with the welding. So I'm just going to weld this cross member in here first. I do have a plan now for mounting the cradle onto the frame. So I will get some axle stands, some wood, and I'll have this in the right height before I start mocking up my frame brackety thing. I think this is the height I want to go with. So we're still Still a foot off the ground, maybe about 10 inches off the ground, that's plenty. Any higher than that, I'll start getting problems hitting the floor. Now, what was I going to say? Yes, I was going to do some elaborate uh, hinge mechanism on the cradle so that you would unloosen a bolt here and the whole thing would drop down if I ever wanted to move the tank. But I think I'd, go f I'd, I think I'd rather go for structural integrity rather than ingenuity. 
So I'm just going to weld a solid frame from the corners. Each corner will go up. One there, one there, one there, one there. And some sort of clamp across the top. And if I'd ever do want to remove the tank, what I'll do is I'll cut a, I'll cut a panel out of the floor in the trunk. I mean, the, the floor's not great anyway. I'll probably just make a new floor section. And uh, it'll just, you know, I'll cut a big rectangle out and then I'll overlap it with some foam insulator or whatever. And then that can sit back down on the hole. And that'll give me access to the tank if I ever need to remove it. And also for the pipes and everything. So yeah, I've still got, I've still got work to do in the floor anyway. So I might just cut out the entire floor. That would make sense. I don't think that's original anyway. Right, let me get on with the cradle the structure. Right, I suppose I better see if the tank fits in the cradle before I weld it onto the frame. At least this way, if it's a bit tight, I can I can stretch it out a bit. It's tight, but uh, I want it tight, so I just need a little thin, a little thin layer of uh, rubber around where the metal meets, just to stop any vibration, corrosion, whatever. And then once it's welded in, I'll need to figure out a way to clamp it down. And that's that's no problem. Like a like the way you would clamp down a battery. Easy enough to do. Right, let me weld this onto the frame and that should be us almost done with this. Right, my cradle is tacked in for now. Uh, I'm just going to do a final check of the tank before I seam that all up, okay? Let me weld it all up. Needs a hammer. Just a tiny wee bit close at the top there. That should do it. So I did end up lowering it just a little bit so that uh, this the top of that is now flush with this beam and it should give me a little bit more distance there for the filler pipe to come out because I would rather it wasn't just coming straight through the floor and going diagonally across to its filler hole in the side of the car so if I can get away with a 90 coming round maybe coming from up and over this way 
but we'll see. So that's it for now. I will take it out in case someone steals it. Can't have someone stealing my tank. I'll take it out for tonight and then tomorrow I will weld up all that nice and smooth. I think that looks pretty good. Right, that's me for tonight, guys. Uh, again, I just want to say thank you to everyone who gave me advice on this install. And especially RW Rudder. That's him there. I'll put a little, a little link up here and hop along and see what he's up to. But uh, thanks everyone for, for helping me out. Right, uh, as I say, tomorrow I will probably get at it and weld it up properly now that I know it fits. And then I can start figuring out the piping and then the brake lines. We're getting close, we're getting so close. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit the little bell, like, dislike, any of the above. Bye-bye.